What's up guys, Gagus back with another video today, I'm gonna show you how you can easily make a variable power supply, so let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna show you how you can easily draw the schematic, it's easy. And also there will be a link down below in the description where you can find it. The uh, first thing you will need is a MOSFET 3, uh, 317, LM317. Uh, as you see in, in my drawing, um, the legs are 1, 2, 3, okay? I number it so that you can easily connect it. That's the VIN voltage input, the plus one. And that's the voltage out, the minus one, and then a capacitor for uh, 470 microfarad capacitor. Then we have the 10 kilo, uh, kilo ohm potentiometer, then a resistor 220 ohm, and then also the same 470 microfarad capacitor again, and then the voltage out and the negative voltage out and positive voltage out. All right, so yeah, here are the things 470 ohm capacitors. Then you're gonna need the LM36 LM317 uh, with a heatsink, 10k potentiometer, 220 uh, ohms resistor, just one, and also a proof board, a PCB. If you want to build it on a, a P, uh, on a test board, that's also fine. Some wires, not exactly breadboard wise, but that's what I had laying around. First thing, connect, connect your MOSFET to the PCB using some soldering with the soldering iron, as shown. Now connect your 10k potentiometer, the one leg point will be towards the first leg of the MOSFET, alright, uh, will be connected to, to them as shown in the video, and the other two legs, you will just connect one of them, anyone, doesn't uh, actually matter because um, one, uh, one of them, uh, you go clockwise or anti-clockwise, doesn't uh, really matter that much for me, so just, I will choose just, just uh, left or right, just to do what you need. Resistor will be connected from the first leg to the second leg, the middle leg, from the left le uh, leg to the middle leg of the MOSFET, and connect and solder those also. Now you will get your 470 uh, microfarad capacitors. Oh yeah, you will choose from one of those two pins as shown in the video. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna make my right side of the proof board right side pin. The negative pin, I'm just longing it. You just don't have to do it, but that's what my negative terminal will be. I just marked it with my with my iron, just a little bit L shape thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna choose one of them. Now gonna place your capacitor. The white side, white strip shows the negative uh, po negative pull of the uh, of the capacitor. So connect your positive pull to the middle of the transistor and our negative pull to the other side, as shown in the video. Now you will need a jumper wire or any kind of wire between the um, capacitor and our negative terminal. So I'm just connecting it. A 
and now connect the other lid of the uh, wire to our negative terminal the L shape that we made Now it's like a T-shape, but we know that it's our negative terminal. Now we get our uh, jumper wire or any kind of wire and just place it. That will be our output, um, our output positive and our output negative. The output positive will be connected to the right side of the MOSFET, okay? And the negative terminal will be connected, yeah, I, as shown in the video. You will also find down below, in the link down below in the description, a schematic where it shows you better, maybe better than what I have um, captured for you guys in the video. Sorry, sorry a little bit for bad footage, we'll do my best in the next video. Um, yeah, in the middle of the transistor. And that's our negative terminal, will be connected to the T shape that we made earlier, or the L shape that we made earlier. Consider subscribing guys for more awesome videos like this one, and yeah guys, uh, I will come up with very much most of videos uh, good like this one, and yeah. Uh, consider seeing my all my playlists very useful for you okay so yeah now get your 440 uh, oh, um, microfarad capacitor also that was the negative lead and connect it also the same as shown in the video negatively to the negative terminal and positively to the post uh, to the um, as shown in the video Now connect your positive as shown and our negative which will be connected to our battery or our uh, AC wall but I don't suggest you guys to plug an AC wall in it okay uh, will be a little bit messy and if you did something wrong you can mess up your house but uh, anyways uh, I am using 4.8 volts um, power supply okay power adapter uh, guys for really don't don't use AC but I didn't had any battery laying around to play with it so I used my adapter but for you don't use AC because I, I recommend your recommended voltage will be in from 0 volts to 40 volts and yeah better connect the battery so that you don't mess with AC current I will get also my multimeter in it so that I can show you guys how I did it so with the potentiometer as you're playing around with it uh, you will increase your voltage or decrease your voltage output okay so that's very useful for if you're gonna connect a motor to it or an LED lamp and when you start spinning your potentiometer you are gonna increase your voltage and the motor can spin faster or the LED gonna be, do brighter thanks guys for watching catch you guys in the next one peace Oh shit, oh day, pray them niggas go away Oh we sell the clowns around, it look like Circus Soleil This is not the album either, these are just a throw